So, Blackwater Labs, which is the maker of Plux One AI, just had a collaboration with Korea, which is a very popular platform for creating AI images. And now they are basically working together to create a new open source AI model that is basically trying to combat the AI loop. It is called Flux One Korea Dev. So this AI model is basically trying to make sure that the pictures that were generated is going to look as natural as possible. It's trying to fix common issues like the texture, the color, the saturation, etc. So essentially, the final pictures are going to look very natural, very realistic, convincing to the point that maybe it's going to be very difficult for most people to tell the picture was created by AI or a real actual photo. And since this model is open source, there are many ways you can access this tool. And I'll show you where you can use this AI image model for free to generate realistic and uh, pictures that doesn't feel like AI. But I think that can be subjective. Anyway, basically this model is also outproving some other models from Best Forest Labs like Flux One Pro and Flux One Dev. So yeah, I would say this could be a decent alternative or actually the best choice for open source AI image, especially if you are a developer. Now to try or to use this AI model to create pictures, uh, you can use one of these platforms or you can also use the demo for free that was provided by both Crea and Black Forest Labs. So if you are interested to create pictures using this model, then you can navigate to this URL. I'm going to leave the link in the video description. And after that, you can actually start creating images completely for free without having to create an account for the Korea. So let me do a quick demonstration. I'll try to create, let's say, uh, let's say I create a picture of a woman doing yoga with a crow, sorry, side crow pose. That's a very challenging pose, but let's just generate a picture. Again, this is completely free and you don't have to sign up. You don't have to create an account. It's amazing that we have this access for free. So I do really appreciate that uh, Korea is actually giving access for free. Okay, so this is the result. Now, the pose is actually not correct. Uh, side crow doesn't look like that. Side crow looks something like this. So this is side crow and it's not even remotely close to the one that was created by the Flux One Crea, but I guess that's not the point of this AI model. It is not trying to be accurate, especially for human body, but it is trying to be accurate when it comes to color, texture, and basically trying to make sure that it doesn't resemble the typical AI look. And I gotta say, I think it is actually delivering the promise. This picture looks pretty accurate. I do like the lighting and overall, it, this could be mistaken as a real picture. And as you mentioned, the body position makes a lot of sense. So it's something that could physically happen. So yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Now, another option or an, another way to create a picture using this model is by using the hugging face space right here. Again, I'll leave the link in the video description. Now, this time around, I'll try to create a different picture. Let's try creating a close-up photo of an ant on a green leaf and click run. So if you have plenty of credits on your Hugging Face account, then I guess this could be probably the best way to create pictures. And there are some settings that you could customize in case you want to adjust or fine tune the AI image setting, then you can definitely use this platform. And there you go. So I gotta say, yeah, I think it looks very, very realistic. It almost like a real photo. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty good. So yeah, I would say it is delivery the promise and you can definitely start creating images using this tool, using this AI image model. And again, I'll leave the links of all the resources in the video description. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.